वेलकम टू शहजाद इकबाल इंग्लिश अकेडमी प्लीज़ वॉच होल वीडियो सब्सक्राइब इफ़ यू डेंट एंड शेयर इफ़ यू लाइक दिस वीडियो और टूडेज टॉपिक इज अ नावल लॉर्ड ऑफ द फ्लाइज रिटन बाय विलियम गोल्डिंग इन 1953 आई विल टेल यू इन अ वेरी शॉर्ट Um, words that Lord of the Flies is a story written by Golding, and it is a story about small children. What happened after, uh, or in the mid of uh, World War Two? Actually, a uh, uh, plane, aeroplane, it was taking some passenger to a uh, nearby or a safe place. It is shot down. It was crashed, and whole people died there. Uh, fortunately, some students, some small boys, they they, they were alive. and actually it fell down in an island which was unnamed which was uh, you can say like deserted island no one was living there so when uh, these children went there so they were surprised they didn't know how to live there it is about the events what happened as you see you see like if someone is living there so there will be there will be some fighting they will live together they will have some problems so all these problem are discussed Okay. Uh, in this video, we will discuss theme first of all. Then we will discuss character, and then we will discuss summary, uh, chapter wise, uh, in detail. The first thing is uh, theme. As you see in front of you, there is theme. Uh, the theme is uh, <coughs> what is the theme of it? I am telling you. Okay. Number one, the central concern of the Lord of the Flies is the conflict between two. Competing impulses that exist within human, all human things. What is in your side? First of all, you are good or bad. So, good or bad, they always fight with one another. Who wins? It depends on the person. The nature to uh, live by rules, act peacefully, follow moral commands, and value the good of a group against the nature to please one's immediate desires. So, these are all the themes of this novel. Next, uh, act. violently against the supremacy yes sometime you don't want to follow the rules it is another um, uh, theme of it number next is civilization versus savagery yes there is civilization there is savagery some people are cruel some people are civilized loss of innocence yes when we see any power when we see money so of course we lose everything so innocence is also lost there man is an evil uh, when a man sees something uh, like um, it is in the form of money or power whatever so he becomes an evil and he kills people so we see some children kill small children so children uh, also do not want to spare one another and corruption is also the theme of this novel now let's have a look at the character uh, how many character are there there are many characters but the thing which we are, which we are going to discuss there are not too many uh, raf the main character hero protagonist he is 12 year old he is the young, um, oldest you can say like uh, he uh, the, all the students there all the people there there from 6 to 12 o'clock so, uh, 12 years so he is 12 years old he is the leader of the uh, new uh, tribe he is calm cool he is rational he is sensible and he is civilized he is positive he is the main character actually he gathers all the people he becomes the leader of it like political leader like a, a tribe leader whatever but he is uh, the main character of this novel secondly jack jack is not a good person he is an evil he is an antagonist a negative character in this novel he is cruel he is preoccupied with hunting yes he likes hunting too much one thing that is uh, we should give credit that he always all the way he hunts pig he searches pig and he talks about pig uh, hunting anaki rejects ralph's order that is the significance of him that he doesn't want to obey ralph next is simon a very positive ca character self examiner positive walks in forest spiritual human side and dies he you can say like um, uh, allegorically he is spiritual human side of uh, our society he is a very kind person he is loyal to ralph he becomes a right hand of ralph uh, actually uh, he is uh, nature loving he walks in the wood he finds new trees new plants new sceneries uh, everything new so he is a very good person next is uh, piggy a very intelligent boy from his, from his appearance he he looks like weak actually he wears a very huge glasses uh, so 
as a whole the parents become a sort of discussion for everyone so he is a very good person he is loyal he is right also the right hand of raf loyal to raf intellectual uh, culture within a democratic system yes allegorically he represents as a culture of within a democratic system he is civilized he dies as well both simon and piggy dies how i will tell you the next one is roger loyal uh, to jake cruel tortures others kills piggy he is the right hand of uh, jake the antagonist the negative character uh, he likes to play uh, to torture others especially small children which are called ladens in this novel sam and eric uh, two uh, twins brother uh, they are with raf they are right handed they are royal to raf but actually he they are tortured by jake threatened by jake and they then go to jake's party or tribe uh, they at the end they jo uh, they, they, they join them lord of the flies is another one it's a satan it's a head of a pig actually uh, when in chapters 8 or 9 they kill a pig at the end and actually the they put the head of that pig on a stake and it's bleeding so the student uh, the boys get afraid of it and they run away so meanwhile when simon visits the forest it sees and says it's a, a lord of the flies actually it symbolizes satan now we are starting summary uh, one by one i am telling you um, one by one it that, that that you can understand each and every aspect of it chapter number 1 when it starts so we see raf raf uh, i told you the main character of it uh, we meet raf he, uh, he he is a fair head he walks beside a lagoon meets a chubby intellectual boy wears glasses his name is piggy Uh, from this conversation we come to know that actually what happened in the mid midst of the war uh, a transport plane it was scaring passenger from one place to another it was the group of english people it was shoot down that plane it crashed in a thick forest it fell down it actually the deserted was uh, that island were deserted one the boys scattered there they lost one another and they couldn't find one another so that was actually we come to know from that conversation now they search the beach they look here there wondering what to do what has happened to the boys they discover a cream colored conch shell and that that becomes the part of his personality till to the end piggy suggests to use it as a makeshift trumpet you know trumpet is a sort of device a tool uh, which sounds so it um, he, he convinces uh, mr raf and he blows it other people hears it and they come to the beach the oldest of them is 12 years old and the youngest is 6 years old jake is there as you see there the negative character it marches in two parallel lines and he snaps other to be attentive uh, boy stunt piggy and mock his appearance the people laugh at them uh, now they need a leader so i told you that jake was the leader of that choir they they come in that choir so the choir voted jake and other voted raf raf wins at the end and jack wants to wanted to win as well so placket uh, them to uh, console jake uh, raf asked the choir to serve as a hunter and jack was the leader of it raf tells jake and simon to explore the island ignore piggy actually why ignore piggy he wanted him to be with uh, raf after meeting that lee Uh, they travel back finds a pig caught in a tangle of vines uh, the actually it was in the hand of jake when pig was going to be caught it was very easy uh, but he is he is he's a big big bit afraid because he is a small boy and the pig runs away and uh, and he said that next time he will do it the choir made a trick and finally they come to other boys and they meet them okay come to the uh, next chapter that is chapter number 2 uh in chapter number 2 once again we meet some other people uh second meeting uh summon the boy they once again call upon a meeting raf suggest uh, there is no adult they need to organize jack tells about pig which was caught in vines as i told you in the first chapter at the end that they, he caught a pig but he couldn't Uh, give a final touch to it rat afric uh, agrees uh, they uh, need to kill animal for meat in meeting they declare council will decide who to speak who will hold the uh, shell will speak other will listen and will wait for their turn jack 
agrees. Uh, Piggy yells about uh, boys don't believe they are stuck. It means they don't believe that they are stuck in a sort of um, island. Uh, they can't be for a long. They can be for a long time there. Uh, to be stranded for a long time scares boys, and the they get confused. A small boy Mulberry claims he saw a snake-like bestie or monster there. Uh, actually, this story scared the the people there. They were all scared. Uh, a ma um, monster might be prowling the island. The young uh, younger afraid. They they were too afraid. The older consoled them. There is no monster. Say it was a nightmare. Of course, we we do such words. To be rescued, Ralph purpose uh, proposes uh, to build a large fire. Yeah, signal fire, large fire. Once again, I'm telling you that will be the part of this novel. Tell to the end, and that is a signal fire or a large fire. Uh, uh, passing by a ship may see it. Yes. Uh, to actually, uh, what was the purpose of it? Um, uh, smoke or fire can be seen from anywhere. So actually, they wanted a ship to see them. All go away except Raf and Piggy. Uh, P uh, boys collect wood uh, lenses from Piggy's or uses uh, how they burn the uh, fire. They use the lenses of Piggy's glasses. Mm, it started uh, but dies down. Piggy Piggy was too much angry uh, is at them. Boys should be proficient. They burn a tree uh, when uh, they were burning fire. So uh, a tree it catches a fire and the whole tree is burned down. Um, Jack keeps a signal fire uh, going. Piggy is angry. The boy who told about monster is missing. They pretend nothing happened. Actually, they wanted not to scare other students. So that's why they pretend that nothing happened. Chapter number three. Uh, once again, <clears throat> we are starting with the the Jake with a stick like a spare. He, I told you that he's preoccupied with this thing. So all the time he uses uh, a sort of spare like stick. Trails a pig, uh, big pig, but he waits. Once again, he's going to catch, but it uh, moves. Came back. Uh, he comes back, finds Rob and Simon built a hut. Now they see that Simon and Rob, they're building a hut. They uh, are irritated because it falls down. They complete. It was necessary. Simon helps others play, plan in meeting, but non practically. Actually, Raf says that we do planning in meeting, but practically we are not doing anything. Uh, secondly, uh, Simon uh, helps uh, on uh, the other play. It actually shows the innocence of small children. Rafael uh, worries about Jake fell in hunting because they don't have any meat. Small boys nightmare. They, they, they're actually the more important thing that was that student, the boys get confused and they, they were afraid and, and they were unable to sleep. He discussed this thing with Jake. Uh, Piggy talks about pick. Raf uh, was too much annoyed. Jack doesn't want hurt because he doesn't want to do anything with it. Uh, Hunt is an excuse and he was, Raf was telling to Pig that actually Jack is excusing, uh, that he's making his sort of excuse to go for hunt. He, actually, he doesn't want to do anything in a hut. Uh, Jake says, boys want meat. They argue and go swimming together. But still, uh, when they argue with one another, but still they go for swimming and they pretend that nothing happened. But still, there is something grudge in their mind. Simon helps little boys when uh, older call little ones. Yes, that is the word used. He goes uh, deep in forest, finds beautiful area full of flower birds butterflies he makes sure that he's alone he enjoys the sea okay uh, next is chapter number four now uh, they have become like in root they, they have come in routine so everything was in routine uh, daily rhythm uh, it was cool weather sweet smell plans at morning happy uh, play happily the afternoon was hot uh, but there were some nap or sleeping Troubled by bizarre images that seemed to flicker over the water. There was some, uh, when some, you, you look for a long time to water, so you will see some images there. That is due to sunlight. So Piggy once again um, dismisses that idea and says that, uh, Piggy dismisses saying that mirage caused by sunlight, uh, uh, it is a picture made by sunlight. And the evenings are cool and they enjoy it. Uh, cool weather in the evening. Uh, night time is difficult and frightening because because of dark. Uh, some students, let alone they, they were they were getting too much con uh, confused uh, with that darkness. Okay. 
uh, let us play in e troubled by vision in bad dreams talk in uh, about be beasties or uh, the monster fair and monster uh, large amount of fruits causes diarrhea stomach ailment let us are separate from older old boys torment let us torment means uh, that they were teasing them they were making trouble for them just for fun but too much roger and morris tomb on saint uh, Castle little have built. Roger throws stone. Didn't want to hit them, but he was actually he was playing with him. But he he was hitting, uh, going to to hit. It was very close for them to hit uh, them. <clears throat> Jack once again obsessed with an idea to play a cake. Can uh, can uh, his face with clay and charcoal. Enters the forest with others, and uh, you see there was a hunter group with him. Rani Peggy see ship on horizon. Uh, the signal fire has gone out. They were shouting. They they were hurry to light the fire, but it was too late. Raf was too much is too much angry because it is Jack's responsibility. Jack and Hunter return covered with blood. They were singing. They are singing. They are carrying a dead pig on a stake. Uh, Raf was too much furious and he asked about fire. They didn't hear because they kill a pig and they were too much excited. They were happy that they have killed a snake. Uh, Piggy complains about Hunter's immaturity. But at that time, Jake shows his uh, uh, temper and Jake slaps him. Breaking one of the lenses of uh, uh, the glasses, uh, Jake taunts Piggy by mimicking his voice. Jake and Rob have a heated conversation that was the first time they had their conversation. Finally, Jake admits responsibility of fire, never apologizes, but he never apologizes. Raf uses piggy glasses to light a fire. It that Jake's friendly feeling change into resentment. Wise roast the pig, hunters dance in sing. Raf declares a meeting and goes to do down to the beach. That was the end of chapter. Uh, uh, four. Now chapter 5. In chapter 5, once again we see same kind of things that happened with him. Raf goes along the beach thinking about his life. He was, he's at this time too much frustrated. The thing what frustrated him that was the behavior of Jake and he missed a ship as well. Uh, he has long hair. He, he calls a meeting by blowing count shell. Uh, shell uh, the boys gather there in meeting meeting starts a rough grips con shell uh, it berates the boys uh, scolds the boys uh, he's very angry at the boys uh, for their failure to uphold a group rules they don't do anything he was complaining and uh, they don't build shelter they don't gather drinking water neglect singling fire don't use uh, designated toilet area there was special area they don't didn't have any washroom so they were using designated toilet area Raf stresses importance of signal fire. Uh, he tries to allay the fear of group of beasts and monsters. Later on, uh, frightened by nightmares, Raf and Jake say there is no monster. Uh, monster. Uh, one little boy says he saw a beast coming from beach. Actually, this story once again terrifies all. The meeting, the, the meeting plunge into chaos. Jake says he was he will kill the monster if there is. He torments Piggy and leaves. All run. Um, Raf, Piggy and Simon were lef are left there. The hunters dance and sing. Piggy urges Raf to blow the conch shell and summon all the boys. But at that time, Raf is afraid uh, he's, uh, that the summon would be ignored. That they would not call them. Uh, he says Piggy and Simon that he might uh, relinquish or leave leadership uh, of the group. His friends they reassure him that they need him. As they sleep, the sound of lieutenants uh, um, echoes along the beach. Uh, chapter number six in the darkness. Light night, Raf and Simon carry a lieutenant back to the shelter who was missing. The boys are asleep now. Uh, the military airplanes battle above the island. Actually, at that time, two airplanes they fight in above. Uh, but no one could see uh, why none sees the explosion and flashes in the clouds actually to behind the cloud because the twins Sam and Eric who were supposed to uh, see the fire have fallen asleep and the next thing was there that two uh, I told you in the character two uh, twins brother uh, Sam and Eric they had the duty to have uh, the fire but they were actually sleeping 
the wakelet, make a firebiter, see a twisted form of parachutist. The, uh, from that aeroplane, a parachutist fell down uh, in that forest, but they didn't see, they were sleeping. So when they woke up, they'd see a twisted form of it, uh, and it, they mistake the shadowish image of a bee for a beast. They rush back, wake uh, Raf and tell the story. Raf immediately calls a meeting. The twins reiterate their claim. It terrifies once again. They set out for search with arm, armed force, armed with wooden spear. Only Pega and Little Lens remain behind. Raf allows Jack to search. New way, there, it was new way, there was new place. The way leads through hell. The boy denied to cross the walk way Raf goes to the group investigates gets afraid and then regains his confidence because he was a leader jake joins the cave uh, in the cave they climb jake uh, and Raf feel the old bond once again others play they forget they forget everything Raf reminds them uh, signal fire to burn signal fire the boys grudgingly obey because they wanted to play uh, secondly, they are lost in the whimsical plans uh, to build a fort and do other things. They didn't want to do anything. Okay, uh, this is uh, that was uh, chapter number six. No, number seven. Uh, chapter number seven. The boys stop to eat. Uh, they travel. Raf gazes at choppy ocean. At that time, once again, he's looking at the ocean. Muses at the fact. Uh, the boys have become slowly and undisciplined uh, as he looks at the ocean it looks like in impenetrable walls like blockage walls blocking any hope of the boys simon left the, his spirit by reassuring that he will make it home uh, simon i told you he's an actual spirit of um, the human side so he once again gave a, a sort of assurance that he will do something in afternoon the hunters find pigs droppings you know droppings a sort of potty uh, and uh, you you see jake suggest that uh, they hunt a pig while they search for a beast they track a boar a boar is the male uh, um, pig leads them to a wild chase it was a wild chase they were running after them raf did it first time at that time he hits a boar on a snot uh, he was happy everyone was happy but actually the pig escapes boys were excited they are too excited with this hunt excited with the reenact and the chase uh, robert and they, they were all children so they were happy with these things they were uh, happy uh, with that chase and the uh, robert now they wanted to play a game robert was a boar in that game they dance chant and jab robert they they, they wanted to kill it uh, like in fun with a spear but uh, it was a game robert escapes nearly they kill him robert says uh, next time real pig, uh, pig will be used jack replies let alone should be used all laugh and actually they were laughing they were happy and stayed by the jake's audacity uh, the bravery he was too much brave and they, in darkness raf proposes to until morning to climb mountain it was difficult in darkness jake challenges uh, raf to join in hunt he agrees just to regain the up uh, the position raf roger and jake start to climb raf roger wait near the the top jake jake actually climbs to summit to the summit to the top of it he came breathlessly uh, claiming to have seen a monster raf roger uh, climbed to see the terrifying creature image shooting shaping on an app making a flapping sound it horrifies the boys hurry down the mountain to warn the group against that beast actually that was parachute parachute uh, again chapter, chapter number eight uh, next morning uh, news has uh, horrified them they gather on the beach piggy is baffled because he didn't go on the mountain uh, jake blows the count shell clumsily because he didn't know how to do it or he was deliberately doing such things so it was a sort of clumsy sort of thing uh, jake uh, there is uh, jake was saying there is a beast <clears throat> he claims raf is covered should be removed from leadership boys refuse to leave uh, uh, that uh, raf because jake is uh, jake is angry and goes saying 
everyone is welcome to join him that was truly like he come in front of the people very clearly in the form of that he could be joined uh, uh, he raf is too much troubled uh, raf doesn't want um, doesn't know what to do piggy is thrilled he was happy because he didn't like jake because jake was tormenting him uh, too much disturbing him simon says they should go to uh, search the beast the boys are afraid piggy suggests to light um, fire raf hopes now new fire some sneak to join uh, jake piggy says we are better now because he says that now we don't have any sort of negative people jake jake is chief now uh, savage hunter skill uh, snow so s o w so is the female pick roger pushes his spear into the anus put the head on a stake uh, the blood comes um, down from it the boys run away because actually it terrifies the children uh, piggy and rap in their camp they come hunters come <coughs> shriekingly uh, sorry the hunters come to their uh, uh, camp shriekingly some are hungry they are tempted to join because they see the uh, meat of it jake red simon runs to the forest he finds so head impaled on a, a stake swarming flies or they are actually the scene mesmerizes him uh, the head says to simon will never escape and he gives at that time lord of the flies he is troubled and terrified he faints and fell down on the ground this was the end of chapter 8 now chapter 9 <clears throat> in chapter 9 uh, simon awakes he uh, as you see that Uh, while seeing that beast a lot of the flies he fell down to the ground so now he uh, awakes uh, the air is humid uh, and it was approaching storm the sign of uh, storm his nose was bleeding he was strag he staggers he crawls up finds a dead pilot there flapping parachute rise and fall with a wind realizes the mistake he omits untangles the lines there anxious to prove stumbles towards the fire at jake's feast actually the thing was that that the people was considering it a beast now he finds out that it was a parachute it was a dead pilot so at that time he is anxious to prove it and to tell the story but what happens piggy and raf go to the feast they wanted to meet the jake hoping to control the situation the boys were la laughing they eat the roasted pig jake issues command face like a savage he became a command and chief jake invite all some except despite raf attempts to stop them raf asked what he will go if 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 it rains or in in, st in storm he answered in a very funny way and tells his uh, mates to do a wild dance all boys dance in frenzy uh, raf and piggy also dance there that was a situation they didn't want to do but they did it suddenly the boys are uh, shadowing the figure they see it was actually simon creeping out of the forest it is simon they were wild in state they didn't don't recognize shouting beast they send upon them tearing him up with bare hands and teeth simon explains but no one was listening who is he but trips and plunges over the rock boys fell on him kill him this it was storm now in rain boys run for shelter it the wind and waves wash simon corpse into the ocean it drifts away same time parachute is flies mountain side onto the beach boys start screaming once again they saw a sort of uh, cre a creature like okay chapter number 10 chapter number 10 next morning what happens next morning okay in next morning raf and piggy meet on beach with bruce faced they were ashamed of the last night behavior because they were dancing i told you piggy on simon piggy on simon death was saying it was an accident it is an accident but raf with a counsel holding in his head laugh hysterically and he said actually we participate in murder piggy denies that we didn't do all join jake except rick same and handful boys some boys there the headquarter at castle is known now castle rock actually castle rock is an area 
where Jake became a chief, a new chief. Castle Rock, Jake is ruling there. The boys are pun punished for nothing. Actually, Wilfred uh, boy is tied and warned against tribe. Tribe he wanted to go to a rough one, so he was tied there and he was punished there. Simon is a beast. Jake says Simon. Uh, it was not Simon. It was actually a beast. Uh, actually, uh, a beast can disguise himself. Uh, can come again. So they decided to attack Raf for fire. They came to Raf. Um, uh, Raf came. Came. Boys were uh, were asleep. Uh, they are asleep. They were depressed, losing interest in signal fire. They didn't want to light any fire. Raf plagued actually by nightmare. He was too much disturbed by nightmares. Uh, Jake's attack with a hunter group of hunter. Uh, Raf is beaten there. Raf and other people, students, boys didn't know, don't know what to do. Piggy knows it. Who are they? Because actually they stole his glasses as well. So he knew the actual situation that it was Jake. And I told you that Jake is uh, too much intelligent as well. Chapter number 11, this is the second last chapter. In chapter number 11, we see that something is going to be finalized. Raf and other boys tried to light a fire but they were they didn't have in uh, they, it was in it because they didn't have glasses piggy was barely able to see anything they plan to have a meeting raf blows a council boys assemble there uh, the remaining few boys uh, the only choice to visit castle rock to meet jake and have uh, to make any way now raf uh, with a council blows uh, and goes to jake's tribe uh, they see armed guard throw stones at them and uh, actually they didn't want to hit them there but they wanted to stop them uh, jake and hunters draw a pick at that time they were trying uh, rough uh, they uh, jake's orders rough to leave rough denies and say demands a piggy glasses because they wanted to have a fire as well and there is a fight jake and rough fight uh, Ra jake at that time ties eric and sam rough is angry lunges at Dick, Jake once again then what happens uh, both fight Piggy cries at that time Roger I told you he was the right hand of uh, Jake he shows Piggy shows means pushes Piggy he falls down Raf tries to catch him there are some boulders boulders means some stones huge stones big stones uh, it strikes Piggy uh, the conch shell which was in his hand it shatters um, the boulders shatter it he knocks him off to death and he dies at that time uh, Raf escapes to forest Roger and Jack torture Sam and Eric to join Joyce trip that was second last chapter in last year, chapter everything is finalized you see that uh, we don't have any option now uh, Raf hides in the forest thinks miserably about the chaos about the chaos about in the situation uh, thinks about the piggy and Simon death. The stumbles at so's head now. I told you that Lord of the Flies. Now it has become white, like Council. Uh, he angrily knocks it down to the ground and it, it it breaks. He takes the stake to use as a weapon. That stake which was holding that head, it was used. It is used now as a weapon. Raf comes to Jake's camp. Sam and Eric guarding. Um, uh, they, they, they are guarding the entrance they actually give food to Raf but refuse to, to Jake to join him Raf hides in the thicket thicket and sleeps in next morning Jake orders to find him he finds uh, everyone he orders everyone but actually he uh, orders one of the, uh, the twins uh, these twins Eric and Sam uh, boys try to break the thicket but it it is too dense he, they, they cannot do so they ro they they are rolling some boulders there they want to kill him but fra uh, fends them stops them the, those boulders are stopped uh, uh, now at that time raf smells some smoke so raf runs away because it was actually fire jake lights a fire he was chased by warrior he plunges into undergrowth reaches the beach pursuers are close behind he looks there and he sees that pers pursuers are too much close so raf finds a naval officer there naval officer told that he saw smoke so at that time hunters also reach 
officer thinks it is fun in game that shows the innocence of the people that we think they were that they are innocent when when he learns the actual situation so he lost that he was surprised that we have lost the reverence civilization in very short time rab is too much ha happy that he is res re rescued he starts sobbing he start crying weeping other boys started as well naval officer turns back so that the boys may regain their exposure that is the end of it how you see that small children just for the small benefit of power or some money or some other meat they wanted to kill one another they wanted to do a lot of things that is the end of summary i hope you have learned everything i hope you will enjoy it if you like to please share it with your friends and relatives and uh, other mates allah hafiz